Yeah. All right, you want to rub me down? Uh, what? It's purple. It's a ball? How does yeah. this work? Oh. I'm sorry. Well, you have relief on your nose. I can't feel my nose. <laughs> my nose is numb. <laughs> numb my nose. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. There it is. I've always wanted a chin massage. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, that is not an attractive angle. Good morning, everyone. I got some new specs. Cole has some too, but not on him. So we are on the way to the doctor because Cole hasn't been feeling the best. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's why we're going to the doctor. But for whatever reason, I've been sweating on just the right half of my body. Very peculiar, don't know why. And uh, that's never, it's not something I've ever experienced. Yes, so we have kind of a few ideas of what's going on. We think it's either a, p a pinch nerve from the way he was sleeping, and usually at night he sleeps with his little fluffy pillow. My body pillow. Another cause we think could be, um, what is it? A Cyrnix? Or a Cyrnix? 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 I don't know exactly how it's pronounced, but it is like a fluid sac that grows on the spinal cord. They're actually kind of common, uh, especially in like spinal cord injuries. That's a problem, obviously. So if that's the case, we need to figure that out with like an MRI or something and get that taken care of. Before we go there, Cole is out of gas, so now we need to get gas. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully we're not too late. Uh, we'll see. So I think another thing that's been happening with this issue that I'm only experiencing on my right half of my body, something with my eye. I don't know why, but like, my left eye is always much smaller. It looks fine today, actually. It looks really good. Really? But people noticed in the last video that this eye was way bigger and then this eye was smaller. But I think that's that's the problem, eye, not that eye. Because we thought that eye had a sty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we thought this one was like a sty or swollen shut or something. Mm -hmm. But now I think that it's some sort of like sympathetic nervous reaction, sympathetic system nervous reaction, like where my eye is getting real big over here. Uh, they look fine today, which is good. And yeah. you didn't, you're not sweating as much today, are you? No, no, not, I was sweating on the drive over here because if I hold my arm in a certain position, I think it's irritating something in there, whether it's the pinch nerve or the sear nix or cerex or whatever. On the drive over, I could feel the sweat coming up on just like the right half of my forehead. Mm -hmm. So weird. Yeah. Never experienced something like this before. I know, it just happened out of nowhere. So hopefully we get some answers today. Yeah, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Are you cold? Yes. I don't, where did fall come from? It came out of nowhere, man. It's freaking freezing. Anytime it's less than 75 degrees, Cole is not happy. Fortunately, I'm not sweating right now. Unfortunate. Oh, oh my Crap. god. Crap. Okay, I got it. Uh, so, he kind of confirmed what we were thinking, which was that I've kind of already been through the worst of it. It's probably just like an irritated or pinched nerve that'll probably just subside or go away. He doesn't think it's the sear rinks. I think that's how he said it, right? Sear, sear, oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but um, if my like sweating and stuff doesn't go away, then he said we'll do like an MRI, which might be able to show us something. Um, and or we'll a CAT scan, which might be better with all of the stuff in your back and or in your or neck. In my neck, yeah. So he just recommended that for now we get like a topical like anesthetic or an, yeah anesthetic cream, and we can rub that on, and that should help with the impulses from the nerves going up that are causing some problems. With Advil, I've been managing it with Advil. Advil has helped a lot with like just the sweating and stuff as an anti-inflammatory. So that's been good. So we're gonna go to CVS now and go get some cream. Cream. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Uh, what happened? You fell asleep. We came in the house and you just passed out on the counter. Really? Why are you so tired? Because we gotta get up so early for that appointment. <laughs> oh my gosh. It wasn't that early, Cole. Why am I cold? Because it's cold outside. It's fall time now. I'm gonna go get a hat and then can we roll Is on? Is your forehead peeling? I don't know. I hope not. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. You have sleep marks. I was sleeping. <laughs> that makes sense to have marks. Alright, I'll be right back. Go get a beanie, Mr. Sassy. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Are you ready? I'm good. Good to go? Yeah, I think you look great. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Close my eyes so I don't poke myself in the eyeball. 
You're so handsome with your beanie on. I'm less cold now. Yeah. All right, you want to rub me down? Uh, what? With this stuff that we got. Wipe me down. Wait. 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 <laughs> Wait. Wipe it down. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone... Maybe you can do something with that. <laughs> okay, so here we have some of this. Asper cream. Asper cream, max strength. Lidocaine, yeah. I, you know, I, I saw that they had a half strength, and I was like, no. Let's get the max strength. <laughs> Extra like, strength, super power. <laughs> All right. So it's Nums. perfect because it says target relief, back, neck, shoulders, along amongst other things, but that's what we need. You gonna rub me down? Yeah, I guess so. Yay. Spoiled. I'm just kidding. Yes. Get to your chin. All right. Can you tell a story? Oh, uh, story time. There was once a young man, and he found a young woman, and they were lived happily ever after. That's a great story, babe. It's our story. Oh. Yeah. Is that good? <laughs> great. It's purple. It's a ball. How does yeah. this work? <gasps> oh. I'm sorry. Well, you have relief on your nose. Can't feel my nose. <laughs> my nose is numb. No, my, no, I'm just kidding. So it's in, right, right in this area, okay? Okay. Through here. Oh, ooh, does that feel good? Yeah, keep going. I'm falling backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Here, I'll use my chin. There it is. I've always wanted a chin massage. Isn't that nice. Yeah. Oh baby. Your hot breath is an extra plus. <laughs> so on this side. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I got a cramp in my back. Hold Be on. careful with my sunburn, please. I'll do what I can. You gotta take your shirt off. No. Babe, you're gonna have to. I can't get, I can't get there. All the way off? Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I can just like pull it up, I guess. All right, so here. Yeah, in there, in a little higher. Oh, there we go. Nice. Just for you to apply a little pressure, if you'd like. You want a massage at the same time? Mm. If you have a massage gun, I can give you a massage. Okay, that's probably enough. I might have, hopefully that's not too much. Ooh, that smells strong. Strong? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see how that works. Here, I'll put you back so you're not freezing. Mm. Okay. Hey, handsome. <laughs> you're so cute. Thanks. You're welcome. Am I cute? Yes, very cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> You are glowing. glowing. Everyone's been saying I'm glowing, you so. Are glowing. Wow, <laughs> like an angel. I'm should actually we, glowing. You should probably move. No, I want to glow. All right, do you want to move or not? I can go like this. Here, let me do it. I can move over to the side. Is this comfortable? Is. You want to talk like this? It could work. Is this what we're doing? <laughs> Here, just move over. Yeah. Much better. Does this work? Yeah. Come on over, come on over, baby. Come on over, baby. I N D E P E N D E N T. You know what that means? I know what that means. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. Oh. Um. Anyway, so uh, back to the video at hand. It is nice that in this case there wasn't like anything serious, but. This is something that people with spinal cord injuries have to monitor all the time or like little health issues mm -hmm. here and there, whether it's a blister on your foot or a pinched nerve that might be a sear nick ring, sear nick ring, <laughs> whatever that is. Can you just like say like that might be like a cyst? Can, can, isn't that the same thing? Is it? I don't know. It's a fluid sac. A cyst. Which is a cyst, but that's like a pus sac. Oh, I hate that word. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. <laughs> it's like always something that you gotta keep your eye on. You gotta manage whether maybe it's a UTI and you gotta be taking antibiotics. Yeah. It does sort of just introduce a little more... Complication? Yeah, a like, little more complication confusion. in your life. I just, I don't know. I feel like with spinal cord injuries, it's sometimes really hard to tell what's going on because you know, for, you know, most people, they can't feel from a certain level below. Quadriplegics higher up in the chest area and yeah. paraplegics lower around the abdominal area. When you have something going on for a quadriplegic, some paras have autonomic dysreflexia, but I think it's mostly quadriplegic. I think it's like T6 and up. Yeah, and so having autonomic dysreflexia helps 
try to figure out like, okay, something's going on because my body's reacting, but it doesn't tell you what's going on. So it, sometimes it's really hard to like figure it out. Like you may have to pee, yeah. you, you, you know, you pee, that doesn't do it. You check your shoes, that doesn't do it. And then it's something internal and it's like, okay, I need an MRI or a CAT scan. Sometimes it's frustrating because you get all these symptoms mm -hmm. of like AD or whatever, and you know that there is an issue and then you go to the doctor and they can't even really tell you what's happening. Mm -hmm. And then they're just like, well, you know, give it a week. And then if it gets worse, like come back. Yeah. Okay, I guess. And then a lot of times it does go away and that's fine, but we still want to know like what the heck was happening. And it just sucks not being able to figure this stuff out because yeah. I can't feel my body. Yeah, it's a little frustrating. So in this situation, Cole just needs to keep an eye out on the symptoms. Um, if they improve, it's good. But also like we need to make sure like he doesn't start getting numbness on that side of his body. You know, we don't want him to lose function. So we want to keep an eye on it and deal with, you know, the situation right away because it could lead to something, you know, more intense. You got to jump on these things early and fast and shut them down before they become a problem that you can't handle. Yeah. And I, I have been very blessed to have a stretch of, or a relatively clean bill of health since my injury. I have had like little things here and there, and I do kind of carry a UTI with me like almost all the time. But there are a lot of people who struggle, like it seems every month they have another issue. And so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm lucky in that sense. But yeah, spinal cord injuries, man. It's just like, you gotta stay on top of everything mm -hmm. all the time. Yes, yes, you definitely do. And you know, one thing that I noticed that is really not talked about enough is aging with a spinal cord injury. Mm -hmm. And it's just because like the life expectancy of spinal cord injuries has improved tremendously since you yeah. know decades ago because people just didn't understand spinal cord injuries. So now it's like people are you know living to like 60s and 70s with a spinal cord injury, but we're still trying to understand aging, like skin issues. I met with a lady who's been married to a quadriplegic, oh, wow. and she was giving me a bunch of advice yeah. like on hip issues, like like you know the bone deteriorating and just oh man we haven't even gotten there yet i know i hope we don't get there so i'll drink some milk yes <laughs> so we definitely it's something that we're learning everyone's learning and hopefully we'll, we'll keep improving you know research and understand spinal yeah. cord injuries better and of course it's important to make sure you're like working out and exercising and absolutely. using your joints and stretching and all that good stuff uh -huh. vitamins all that jazz absolutely <laughs> so we will definitely keep you guys posted on what's going on with cole's neck and everything and you know yeah. if it improves we'll let you know like what solutions we found to be the best and if something else happened we'll definitely keep you guys posted because we noticed that there isn't much information on this and so we want to yeah. be you know someone that can help provide information to someone who's going through the same experience. It is Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month after all. So. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, we actually did this video because it, it's Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month. We may, I mean, stuff like this happens and we go to the doctor all the time and deal with things and we don't even do videos about it, but we're doing it because that's what this month is. And yeah. go check out our Instagram if you want to learn a little more um, ticks, tips, ticks tips and tricks <laughs> yeah. about spinal cord injuries. Thanks for watching everyone. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay positive. All right, I, I couldn't lift my arm up. Oh no, uh, don't joke. Okay. Bye. <laughs>